Beyond naming, God is not his name, sir. It's the description of his class. <laughs> if you are excited, just scatter, just run, just declare. Hey, hey. Hey! 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 Ay, ay, ay! You shall go no! They asked him a question. What is your name? Moses in curiosity. If they ask me who sent me, who will I say you are? For a while, God kept quiet. And you know, if God kept quiet for a minute, eternity has passed. If God keeps quiet for a minute, a minute with him is the passage of eternity. He said, tell them, I am. I am. That is bad English. If you say I am, what should follow should be a name. I am Abraham. That's correct English. I am. If God has to stammer before a stammerer, Moses said he was a stammerer. And God was stammering before a stammerer. For lack of what to call himself. Check the, check the whole scripture. I have journeyed through it from the age of 14. And I have seen one thing. Every name they called God. Was a description of one duty. One assignment. Or a description of the way he appeared to the person. Or the need he came to meet in the life of the people. Not actually a name that befits him. Ichogba no fi chogba means a man beyond titles, a man beyond naming ceremonies. Hey, are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Ichogba no. Ichogba no. He chop on up. He chop on up. He chop on up. He chop on up. Hey, he chop on up. Hey, he chop on up. He chop on up. He chop on up. He chop on up. Hey, he chop on up. 